thank you so much for tuning in to Carly B TV. I'm Dr. Carlicia Booz. In this week's Wellness Wednesday segment, we're talking about the month of October, which is known as Breast Cancer Awareness Month. And today we are joined by Kimberly Lewis. She's with Piedmont Macon. And thank you so much, Kimberly, for coming on the show and just willing to talk about Breast Cancer Awareness Month. Thank you for having us. Absolutely. So Kimberly, can you talk to us about how prevalent is breast cancer? Well, breast cancer affects one in eight women. The older you are, the more prevalent it is, um, but one in eight women, and that's even without a family history. A lot of women think that you have to have a family history of breast cancer, and that's just simply not true. One in eight women, and also we have to worry about the men. Men can get breast cancer as well. It's less than 1%, but we do want to always remember that. Oh, wow. So what are some risk factors? Um, some risk factors for breast cancer, um, there's many. Um, some things that we cannot change and some things that we can change that are modifiable. Some of the things that we cannot change is just being a woman. That's the number one risk factor, risk factor down, hands down. Um, your age, as I said, the older you get, the more prevalent it is. Um, your family history, your personal history, if you've had any prior radiation to your chest. Um, also, um, when you start menstruation, early menstruation can increase breast risk uh, factors, or if you've not had any children or never breastfed, um, those are all things that can increase your risk. Um, your race, um, also um, breast density, the more dense your breast tissue is, the higher risk you have. And then there's a lot of modifiable risk factors, things such as um, obesity. Um, you want to have a healthy weight, um, not smoke or drink excessively. Um, and just being a decreased physical activity, you want to be active. Okay. So what kind of breast cancer services do you offer at Piedmont Macon North and also Piedmont Macon Medical Center? Um, at both facilities, at both um, here at our main campus and as well as at North, we have a 2D and 3D mammography. And uh, we will send you our phone number if you're, anybody would like to um, schedule your mammograms. We have at both facilities. We also here at Piedmont Macon, um, at the main. We also have um, breast ultrasounds. We have breast MRI. We have a lot of more imaging. We have um, biopsies that we can do through ultrasound or through our MRI machine. Um, we just have a lot of services um, that we have here as well as um, genetic testing that we can do as well for anybody in the community. Okay. So um, tell me more about the um, mammograms that are planned for Saturday at your hospital. Mm -hmm. Starting in the month of October, we're trying to make it a little more convenient for maybe some of those women that are working during the week and may not be able to get out. So we want no excuses. Um, we want people to be able to come out um, six days a week. So we are offering um, three dates in October, November, and into December. So for the next three months, we are offering some Saturday mammograms between nine and 12. Nice. Well, I'll be sure to post a lot of this on our website, carlybtv.com. Um, but before we go, Kimberly, um, is there anything else you would like to add or any takeaways that you could uh, recommend to any patients or just our viewers in general um, as we spread awareness of Breast Cancer Awareness Month? Yes, ma'am. Um, the biggest thing is early detection is the key. The quicker we can um, detect breast cancer, the better overall survival rates that we have. So therefore, know your breasts. Know your risk factors, know your breast, uh, report any changes to your physicians, anything that persists, such as um, swelling of the breast, um, redness, any discoloration, changes in your skin. These can be um, things that are painless or painful. If you have a lump that's in the breast that's just not going away, things like that, you wanna always just be really aware of your breast, know your breast, know if you have any nipple changes, it goes inward instead of outward, um, any spontaneous discharge from the nipple. Anything at all that is abnormal from your normal, you want to report to your physician as uh, quickly as possible. Nice. Um, the other thing I would like to really recommend is just making sure that you get your mammograms. The most important thing is you're doing your annual mammograms. You want to start at age 40 unless been told otherwise if you have an increased risk. Some women start earlier. You want to do your mammograms yearly. You want to get a clinical breast exam from your physician yearly. And you want to know your breast and do a self-awareness check monthly. Um, and then the biggest thing is following your healthy habits, um, increasing your, your um, exercise activity levels, um, decreasing tobacco or alcohol use, and just being healthier overall will help decrease your risk of breast cancer and all, and all cancers in general. Okay. Well, all right. Well, thank you again for coming on the show and just sharing this helpful information with us.